This is not something we see every day. Yes, that costume, but also all this snow. Much of southern BC blanketed in more than 30 centimeters of snow. An epic snow day, but not everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, it's crazy. Like when you're walking through YVR right now, there's uh, there's people sleeping in the halls, concourses, um, anywhere they can find a spot. You go down to the luggage carousels and it's a zoo. All of this snow here in Vancouver, not only impacting trains, planes and ferries, but also the courthouse. The most snow in BC fell over the Malahat on Vancouver Island with 37 centimeters and Victoria Airport with 36 centimeters. Close behind was Tawasan and South Surrey with 35 centimeters. There's a lot of snow. Stuck in hotels, sleeping on airport floors and stranded on planes. People from all over the country are being impacted by the cancelled flights at Vancouver International Airport. The airport and the airlines were not ready for this. This is what one traveler saw while being stuck in a plane on the tarmac. Um, you know, it's not the flight crew's fault, of course, but uh, every 15 or 20 minutes, uh, we were told there would be another 15 or 20 minute delay that ended up with us sitting on the tarmac for six hours. It wasn't pleasant. There's some people who I was talking to have been there for 24 hours looking for their suitcase, nowhere to go, you know, stuck mid mid trip. He wasn't the only one. Another man was trying to get to Mexico, but didn't even get on a plane. I'm uh, one of the lucky ones. I managed to uh, get somewhere home with the bed tonight, or rather last night or this morning. Yeah, I thought it was going to be okay. I mean, I got to the airport at 6 last night, and there was some people that had been there for a while, but I had a 10.30 through to Toronto, which was going to connect to uh, 10.30 to Merida, Mexico. And now I'm exactly where I started. <laughs> One Vancouver resident is now in limbo at a hotel in Los Angeles. I traveled back from Australia on Sunday. Uh, I was over there visiting my family for an early Christmas and I had a connection via LAX. We delayed for about uh, three hours, I guess, and then finally canceled. By the time I got to the counter, I'd been at the airport for 12 and a half hours. Uh, so my only option was to take the flight tonight. And I understand the, that weather is well beyond the control of anybody, but the shitty part of the story is that nobody knows how to communicate to anybody and nobody has any information. Today, my flight's supposed to leave at 8 p.m. YVR has continually posted that there are no flights in or out of, of the airport, yet my flight is still scheduled to go ahead. The airport is asking people to please not come if you do not absolutely need to. Better buckle up, BC, and brace for bitterly cold weather coming later this week. This uh, cold air mass for the next couple of days, so Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, going to be very cold around here in the Metro Vancouver area. You're going to experience wind chills down below minus 20. In the Fraser Valley, it might even be down to minus 30 wind chill. Um, in terms of the interior, we're going to be dealing with very low temperatures in through places like Prince George, you know, temperatures will be in the low minus 30s, even in the minus 40s are possible. Friday and Saturday, there's a lot of hazardous weather on the table, including heavy snowfall, potential for freezing rain for a prolonged period of time. The message from the provincial government is clear. If you don't have to be out in this, stay home. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.